the best high quality stuff I've gotten in a long, long time. everybody, Silver Picker here, and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is extra special because it is all about silver. It is all silver items. We're going back to basics, back to our roots, pure silver items, the best high quality stuff I've gotten in a long, long time. So all of this stuff that you see here is all silver, every bit of it. We've got some coin silver, we've got some sterling silver, and we even have some 999 fine silver items, which is really unusual. For those of you who don't know, almost all items that are made out of silver are sterling silver, coin silver, or something less pure. It's very unusual to get something that is actually meant to be used that's 999 fine silver. So it's really cool that we're gonna get to check that out together today. So another interesting thing that you see here is that almost all of these items are silver Judaica. And what that means is these are items that are used in Jewish rituals, ceremonies, celebrations, and all sorts of different events uh, throughout the Jewish year and holidays, etc. So I'm going to teach you a little bit about them so that you can identify them in the future when you see them at garage sales or rummage sales or anywhere else. In addition to all that, I figured it would be nice to bring out the old scale again so we can measure some of these things, weigh them up, and see exactly what these things are worth in their silver value. Alright, so let's go through the easy stuff first, the stuff that you're all going to recognize. For example, this. This is not a piece of Judaica, just a simple candy dish. Weighs 148 grams. And as you see here, it is Gorham Sterling Silver. So it is a brand name. I haven't checked to see if this one is rare or collectible yet, but before I scrap it, I'm definitely going to uh, check out some comps online and see what it's worth. Next up, another non-Judaica silver item, but something awesome, is a little napkin holder. It's got a really, really nice design. This is actually something I could see people using uh, and will certainly buy it for its use because it is really exquisitely done. Um, and it is, of course, sterling silver, 84 grams. Anyway, not a bad piece. Now, this next item is really interesting. So what is this? What do you think this is? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Is it a weird napkin holder? Is it a magic trick? What is it? Well, after a little bit of research, I was able to determine that this is actually a rattle and teething ring for a baby. That's right. This is a sterling silver rattle and teething ring. It weighs just 29 grams, but if you see here on the hallmark, let's see if I can get this. It's a very light hallmark, not super easy to see. So I don't know if you can see that, but it says Tiffany and Co. Sterling 925 right over there. It's very hard to see, even in real life. It's very, very faint. It's a little bit tarnished, but it is indeed there. This, my friends, is a Tiffany & Co. Sterling Silver Rattle. Now, the next items are all pieces of Judaica, and I'm really, really excited to teach you guys about this because I've seen in some of your videos, in some of your haul videos that you've gotten, you've gotten pieces of Judaica without even really knowing it, without realizing it, and theoretically, you could have actually made some more money by selling it as Judaica on eBay or on Craigslist as opposed to just scrapping it. Now, whenever I do see that, I always put in the comments section of your videos what that is, uh, and try and help you out, but this way you'll be able to be more proactive about it and see what you actually have. Now, let's start over here. This is what's called a Kiddush cup, and this is a sacramental wine goblet that is used during uh, Sabbath meals to bless the, the sacramental wine that Jews drink at their Sabbath meals. Now this one, as you can see, is a little bit damaged. It's a little bit uh, crimped, and uh, because this is probably too damaged, I'll probably end up just scrapping this, but it is indeed sterling silver, and uh, it is a nice little piece that weighs 72 grams, so not bad at all. Now, these two go together, and what they are 
they are part of what's called a Havdalah set. Now, Havdalah is the ceremony that, is, that marks the end of the Sabbath and the beginning of the next week. Now, these two items weigh 153 grams together, and I'll give you a second. Can you guys guess what these are? Can you guess what these are? Well, now that you've guessed, I will tell you exactly what they are. This is not a weird shaped cup, it's not a goblet. What it is instead is it is a candle holder. Havdalah candles are traditionally rectangular in shape and they're very long. And this is just a nice, classy way to hold it. You can put it down while the candle burns and let it be. Now this is another part of the Havdalah ceremony. There are herbs and spices that are sweet smelling that people pass around and sniff during this ceremony. So as you can see, it opens up. You could put some cinnamon sticks or cloves in here. You close it back up and then everybody passes it around and takes a whiff of this nice smelling herb and spice mixture. It's got a little flag on top, not quite sure why, but that is the traditional shape. So these two together weigh 154 grams, not too bad. I will definitely be selling these as their items and not scrapping them. They're really, really nice. And as you can see here, there is a hallmark. It has the name of the manufacturer or the, the artisan in Hebrew, and it says 925. Not too shabby. Now this is also one of these spice boxes. This one, of course, is in the shape of a string instrument, and it's really beautiful. Unfortunately, it's a little bit damaged. It's got a, a ding there and a hole there, but this, of course, comes apart as well, and you can see here there's some openings so that you can, that you can smell the spices that are inside, and this is just sort of like a little festive way to celebrate this part of the ceremony. This one weighs just 37 grams, and since it's damaged, I will probably end up scrapping it if I can't sell it for a good enough price otherwise. Now, over here, you guys may recognize this because I've got the exact same one in a previous video. Yes, that's right. I, this is the exact same cup and uh, dish that I got in a previous video just a few months ago. And uh, now I have a second one, and I'm going to try and sell both of them. Certainly not as scrap, because they are very, very nice pieces and are in excellent shape. Now what this is, this is a cup that is used for washing hands after a meal before the blessing is said at the end of a meal. Uh, Jewish people bless their food both at the beginning of the meal and give thanks for it at the end of the meal. And this is a ceremonial cup that is passed around the table, has a little bit of water, you wash your hands, and you pass it to the next person. And uh, this one, of course, as you can see, weighs a whopping 144 grams. It's two parts, and it is hallmarked. As you can see, it says Hazorfim 925.0, 925S. Either way, Hazorfim is a very well-known brand of Judaica, specifically with silver. And uh, these are sort of like the name brands of uh, the Judaica sterling world. So this is a great piece. I cannot wait to see what I get for this. And before I get to the piece de resistance, I'm going to go through, which is of course this, I'm going to go through the last couple items. So this, as you can see this bag of scrap, used to be a weighted sterling candelabra, and as you can see here it weighs about 185 grams. Now, this is really, really nuts, because when I weighed the actual weighted candelabra, and I weighed it on this exact scale, it was 1,500 grams. Now it's 185. That's only a little more than 10% of its weight. Now if you see here, you can look in the card right here, that's on the screen, I made two videos where I cracked open some weighted sterling items, and they came out to 27 to 37% of their original weight. This is really surprising because it was really just 10 or 11% of the weight. So you guys, you really, really need to be careful when you buy weighted sterling items because you could lose your shirt. If I had paid them 30% of the, of the weight, thinking that that would be a good enough deal instead of actually cracking it open and weighing it up. I was able to do this with the permission of the owners, of the sellers, so that was really nice. 
but it ended up, like I said, being only 11% of the weight, uh, roughly, and, and that is, uh, I, I would have been paying three times as much. So it's really, really important to know what you're getting into when you buy weighted sterling silver. Over here, got a couple of coins. You've seen these in the past. These are 25th anniversary Israel coins. You've actually seen that I've had the gold version of this in a previous video. You can see here is the Israeli Declaration of Independence on one side, and uh, the seal with 10 liras on this side. And I have two of these, and they're really, really nice. I may keep one and sell the other. We'll see. Now, the piece de resistance. This 182 gram item is what is known as an etrog box. Now the etrog is a citron, which looks like a lemon, it's kind of like a fancy lemon, that Jews use in a ceremonial way on the holiday of Sukkot. And this is one of the parts of that holiday. So what you see here is essentially a little box that you can put this ceremonial lemon inside. Now, the person who, who owned it before me must have had this tested or wherever they got it because it looks like there's a stain from uh, somebody doing using testing acids, which is just very frustrating. But aside from that, this delicate, beautiful work, the hallmark says Sharabi 999. That's right, this is 999 fine silver. Extremely delicate, but beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, exquisite work. Look at the craftsmanship on this. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, if I, of course, I'm not going to scrap this. Now, this probably retailed for over a thousand dollars. I kid you not, with the work, the craftsmanship done on this, the delicate nature of the fine silver, this probably retailed for over a thousand dollars. I don't think I'm going to be able to get even close to that but a few hundred dollars is not out of the realm of possibility. So, as you can see, I got a bunch of silver. For everything you see here, I paid $366. In the silver weight, it's worth about 550, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to slow play it a little bit and sell it as the items themselves. So that A, I can preserve this beauty, and also uh, so that I can maximize my profits. So. I really, really hope you enjoy this. I hope you learned a lot. I hope that you guys, when you go out into the field, you guys can now identify some of these items so that you can sell them better and maximize your profits too. Now, if you have any questions about any of these items, anything that you didn't understand from my explanations, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'd love to get a dialogue going where I can explain more about these items so that you guys uh, can learn something that you might not be able to learn elsewhere. And hey, that's what this channel's all about, right? Sharing the knowledge, sharing the love, getting you guys more financially literate so you guys can go out there and make some money too. If you liked the video, please give me a big thumbs up and hit that like button. It really, really helps me out. And what helps me out even more is if you share the video with your friends, post it to social media, spread the love, spread the knowledge. I really, really want to get this stuff out there so I can grow the channel and uh, give me motivation to keep making more stuff. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it so you get notifications so you know when I post new videos. I post new videos all the time and we do all sorts of stuff, whether it's silver, whether it's coins, whether it's thrifting, picking, investing, we do it all on this channel. So join us and come back for more and until next time, Silver Picker out.